Getting towards evening now. Dinner time, and a hot meal has been prepared here. Packed into Marmite cans to keep it warm for the men on the top of the hill. Usually, they get hot chow at least once a day, brought up to them during a lull in the fighting. Inside those cans, there's a full course meal and everything that's needed to serve it. Barbed wire and trees embedded with steel. That's all you see on your way to the dinner table, a long climb away. A typical path to the front lines where nobody takes hot food for granted. On the top of the hill, men have been looking forward to this moment. That's no lie. You won't hear any complaints about this food. We're darn glad to get it. Look at those faces. Of course, the fruit salad usually ends up in your mashed potatoes. And the coffee's high powered. But it keeps you going. That's the idea. And with a little moo juice, it tastes OK. Anyway, you stoke up while you can, because the night ahead will be long and busy. We know that. Especially if you're going out on a patrol across the lines. That's when you need all the energy you can get. No. No, we don't look forward to the night. We think a lot about the future and the past. The present takes care of itself. I guess the enemy's eaten, too. Funny how quiet it gets just before dark. But nobody really relaxes. Sure, you sit around and chew the fat a little. But one ear is listening for that next shell. It's the waiting that gets you. Waiting for the night. That's the worst time over here. At dusk along the front, men prepare for the night. A tank returns from no man's land, moving into the safety of our lines, its mission completed. Enemy positions are watched carefully. Roadblocks are swung into place, closed tight to prevent enemy infiltration and to seal off the lines. Men are suspicious of the quiet at dusk. They wonder what the enemy is preparing. A recoilless rifle or a bazooka and plenty of ammunition. Good companions for the night ahead. Not just American here. A Turkish soldier prepares for a patrol. His bayonet is quiet. Men of the United Nations, including South Koreans, Good soldiers now, well-trained and ready for business. They know these nights well. The quiet, the darkness are not to be trusted. Men are waiting and ready. Sure, maybe this is just a little war. But for us guys, it's as deadly as any big one. We got an awful lot of men over here. Men who don't like war. But guys who do have enough faith and freedom to grab their rifles, their guts, and their dreams and go up over a hill in the machine gun fire. Well, that's it. A day. One of many days in Korea. In the weeks to come, we'll talk about our latest weapons, our tanks, our guided missiles, and our big guns. We'll talk about armies and divisions. But today, we've shown you our most important, our greatest weapon, the American soldier. He's in Korea, in Europe, at outposts all over the world, as well as here at home. We're proud of the way he fights, his courage, his humor. We're proud of his bellyaching strength, which moves mountains or captures them. Next week on The Big Picture, we'll take you to Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Washington, D.C. This is Captain Carl Zimmerman inviting you to be with us then.
The Big Picture is a weekly television report to the nation on the activities of the Army at home and overseas, produced by the Signal Corps Photographic Center, presented by the U.S. Army in cooperation with this station. You can be an important part of the big picture. You can proudly serve with the best equipped, the best trained, the best fighting team in the world today, the United States Army.